Hello everyone, this is Kat, and welcome back to the channel. And I know that I haven't been uploading for quite a while. And I wanted to dedicate this video about talking about why that is, what I've been uh, up to in the last few months, and what my plan is for the future of this channel. So, uh, some of you might know or might not know, I have entered college, game development. And I've been doing a lot and a lot of coding as a result in the past few months. Bits of projects, some uh, stuff looks better than others, some <laughs> works better than others. And because of it, I've been really busy and yeah, it basically translates to that I went from a player to a creator. So uh, what does it mean for the channel? Of course, I, since I play a lot less, um, I also have um, less chance to upload because, well, I have less chance to record footage for whatever video I want to do. On top of that, since Crossout is my main content for the channel, and I've kind of been burned out on Crossout, that makes the opportunity for content even smaller. So what I want to do is start a new video series about me vlogging about what I'm doing, like, let's say, every one or two weeks. What I've been up to in the past week, what I've been doing, uh, share some interesting stuff if I've made anything and it will be available up for download in this website here. This is my uh, website that I have uh, made for one of the assignments of my college and basically I've got to take a little bit around it. We're just going to go to the uh, portfolio and then to the private projects. Here's some stuff that I actually made. Uh, they are up to download. Uh, you can download them right here. You can you can see your different uh, dot access. You can just install them. Currently, the prompt calculator doesn't seem to work. Uh, prompt project started does work, although it's more of a joke project. Uh, it only had like the first version done. Uh, other project was the, uh, I did it with a group, and because uh, group issues, we never really continued it. But one a project that I am currently working on actively is the Project Burp game. And I'm going to go into the game right in a moment, it's right here. <laughs> and talk a bit about what uh, that game is about, etc. So, yeah, like I did a lot of stuff. In the meanwhile, like for example, this prompt calculator, you can enter a starting value, enter an uh, end, uh, end value, then you can select whether you want to show non prime numbers. And then we'll run a calculation between those two numbers, whether any of those numbers is a prime or not a prime number. And it will display all the ones that are or not are, are all the numbers if you select yes, show non primes. And if you say no to non primes, it will just only show the primes. Then you can press any key to activate. Basically, that's how it's supposed to work. But whenever I try to open it, it just immediately closes itself for whatever reason. Still trying to figure it out, and uh, I guess that'll be something for the next episode of this vlog. So that's it. Let's go into the project burp game, and uh, it's gonna be in the main menu. Normally, you won't see this screen. I already opened it, left it open for a little bit. Uh, you will first see an opening animation, which I cannot show because of copyright issues. It's a video that I. It's a meme video that I ripped off the internet. Basically, the entire project has been a meme. Got a tutorial, but I cannot show you either because of copyrighted music in the background. So we're just going to go on to one of these levels. And I think level four, which is the most uh, expanded level that I got here, it's going to be the best one to show off what I got here. So I got a uh, little bird. It's not the prettiest one by far. And uh, you can walk around. This has animated. It's the first 3D model I've ever made. Didn't even have a mirror on. So it really doesn't look that great. And I'm actually currently in the works of making a new model for this as well. Which will look way better than this one does. Anyways, uh, we've got little bushes that either explode or start burning when you touch them. Still have to fix the fact that these ones show shadows when they uh, are destroyed, which they're not supposed to. Got some rectal cubes. And uh, yeah. That said, we got a uh, basic platformer with our TF2 scout standing as the voice over for all of these actions, such as sprint, jump, or double jump. And you're gonna really walk around, move around this giant wall of rectal cubes. I'm just overall have a lot of fun with it uh, and just trying to explore this area. Got a moving platform from that side, got more moving platforms up there. A lot of stuff to do here, if you guys want to try it out for yourself. 
So anyways, uh, I'm gonna see if I can really quickly get back. Uh, there we go. Sorry for the spam, but that's just whenever you press the shift button for the sprint or whatever, you, you get that voice message. So that's that. There's really a lot of things you can do with just walking around, honestly. Some side dodges. We even got a transform when you press T. That was one. This one is not yet animated or even has a texture. It's still a placeholder texture. And after a few seconds, it will put you back into this guy. Is that if you happen to die, you will respawn at whatever respawn begin, you last touch, for example, that kind of thing, or you will simply respawn at the. And I just fail because I forgot to jump over to the next platform. But as you can see, respawn beacon. You've got a lot of the things you can do here. I can also just cheat my way over to here, wait for the cooldown, respawn. We're gonna just head up here. And of course, here we can climb up there using these platforms. It's a bit more difficult than you might expect, imagine. But anyways, just gonna head up there just for a little bit. Shows you more features about what I did with this code. So, as mentioned, this game is actually ooh. well. That's a rip. So, anyways, this game has been made in Unreal. And uh, mostly use visual coding. That's it. Here's the, the main menu. Got all of these burps falling down. We've got some doing backflips and everything. And yeah. That's it. One thing I do have to like uh, tell you guys if you want to try it. If you've got a potato, potato PC, this might run heavy. But we have actually have a fix for that. First up, we have potato graphics. And now we have a potato full screen resolution. Gotta take a few moments to get in there. The menu gets all wacky, true, but it works. You can walk around, play this game, all the functionality is there. Render distance gets reduced, so you do not like load all of the particles, whatever. Like these bushes. Let's see which one is okay, those are burning. So like whenever you get far away enough, the uh burn is actually still there, but the bushes unload. It's gonna save a little bit of frame rate all across the board for you guys playing on potato. Okay, you can of course set it back. Uh, it does not really have to remember any of the settings, and of course, the uh, scaling of the menu gets a little bit uh, fucked up when you put in a potato quality. That's another thing I have to fix. But yeah, if you do want to actually clear one of these levels, uh, let me go to the first level. You can see a giant shining platform over there. When once you hit that target over there, you actually complete the level and send be sent back to the main menu. So I'm gonna show you that to you guys right now. It's simply a double jump set, jump up. Probably at least some of you are gonna get really tired of these sounds here, but again. The entire project is mainly a meme, and <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to have a laugh while building this, so I hope you guys forgive me for that. And here you go, back to the main menu. And again, you have four levels, you have a basic tutorial to guide you through some of the mechanics, although it does not say R is respawn or T is transform to Uber mode, but every single level has been uh, made so that you can clear it without having to transform. The transform mode is only to make you uh, make it easier, but in return, it will take a lot longer for you to clear it. And let's just turn off the music. Talk a little bit more here. So yeah, one of the main things I'm gonna do in this project is talk about this project and its progress, of course. If I do anything with this project, um, you guys will be first to know, uh, other than my actually like, college classmates. I was actually enjoy this game as well. They actually play it, and it's a lot of fun. And I have a lot of small little Easter eggs for you guys to uh, figure out as well. So another thing is going to be if I like make any other project that is interesting for you guys, I will be posting it on the website for you to download. I will put put the uh, website in the uh, description of all of my videos from now on, by the way. So it's going to be easy for you to find. 
And yeah, that's really mostly it. Uh, if some of you guys actually want to see what I actually do in the code, uh, I would actually have to uh, set up a recording uh, software on my laptop rather than on my computer because I have a uh, gaming grade laptop right now, which I take to college and do all of this work on. So that's going to be something uh, I would have to do for you guys. So comment down below if you guys want to see some of the actual coding and how it all works on the technical sides of things. That's it. I very much hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I'm going to have to go a little bit. I'm just going to quit here and put this back on. Uh, let's see what's, what this king is going to do. There we go. Back to the uh, website. And yeah, that's really it for today, guys. Uh, nothing too technical on the side effects, more of an introduction. And I very much hope you guys enjoyed watching. Comment below what you guys think of this uh, series as well. It's gonna probably going to be the main series of this channel for the time being. I will co I still cover other games uh, if you guys want me to, of course. Uh, com again, comment down below what you guys want to see. I'm still a small enough channel to watch every single comment and actually often just do what you guys want me to uh, on a pretty regular basis. So be sure to comment down below what you guys want to see. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.